Change Wellness Summit. Our very last installment of this summit. We hope you've enjoyed this journey so far. If you've missed any of them, uh, just you can, it's easy to to click and rewatch all the videos so you can soak in all the knowledge. Uh, there'll be a link on how to do that uh, wherever you're watching below. Yes, you'll be able to go, uh, it's either on YouTube or Facebook and on all the channels and just look back at some of the videos. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to crack right into this. We're going to share, this is the elixir of youth. Uh, how to turn back time. If I could turn back time. <laughs> we're going to share our 10 favorite ways of doing this uh, in <laughs> a way. That's one, right? I think so. <laughs> what, to dance like Cindy Lauper? Is that Cindy Lauper? No. What? I mean, I Tina don't know. Tina Turner. It's Cher that's Cher. Cher's missing the, the G string. Cher's turn back time. She sure has. It's I a little mean. surgery, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, we should have said without surgery because you don't have yes. to do surgery to yes. turn back time. No, 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 no. All right. Let's crack into number one. It's not going to surprise you. Well, it might some of you. Yeah. Um, yeah, more than food, more than diet, more than exercise, more than all the things you think is what we're going to say is community. Yes. Like having a community that empowers you, that and makes you feel good, you, that challenges you, that holds you. you to your highest. That is the number one thing. Feeling like you're a part of something, it, it, is, it goes back to when we were tribal. You know, if you weren't part of a tribe, you would die. Yeah. You know, the elements and nature was just too harsh. Yeah. And so we all have a natural instinct to want to belong, to be part of something. Now, in this day and age, everyone's like, I don't need any, you know, everyone that thinks that they're, what they oh my God, yeah, <laughs> like totally fine on their own. Like I'm in my box a, house, my yeah. box car, I'm all by my, like. Every, and dog eat dog, I'm going to like. Uh, it's been celebrated take, to be independent yeah. and like a fierce independent woman or and, like a solitary man. But like that, and you will die and get depressed. Yeah, like and fast. steamroll anyone, you know, just to get to the top or just to get what you need. That's not how we're built for human nature. That's right. You know, just look at the pandemic when we were all separated and how much suffering that caused, how much death that caused, not just from, you know, what was happening, but the loneliness, the suicide, yeah, the depression, depression the anxiety. anxiety yeah all the fear that killed millions of people alone yeah. so just the isolation we, we're drove not people mad we're not meant to be separate you know i really truly believe that so many of those people that were put in hospitals that were cut off from their family members that weren't allowed to have touch like so many of them would have died because of that not because of the virus right mm. so we need you know and there's these extraordinary studies they did i think i mean i want to say back in the 30s or 40s don't quote me on the on the time range there but they they did these um radical tests with babies um, where they gave them everything they need, you know, they were born and they, they gave them all the food and the comfort, like, you know, and blankets and all the things that they would need, but nobody touched them. And every single one of those babies died. We need human touch. Sounds awful. They I know, actually it's, did that they test. did that. I know, it's like back in the day when things Must were have been different. Must in the 30s or something. Yeah, <laughs> when things were, human life was maybe not as, you know, yeah. valued in the same way. But, um, but yeah, so it's, it, that just goes to, and you know, there's tests like with monkeys as well, where they had uh, this cage with a metal monkey where it was... Metal monkey? Yeah, it was like, it was like a metal cage. replica. Yeah, metal cage, but a metal monkey that was feeding them as if it was a oh, Like mom. a robot? Like a, no, no, it was just they would put food in it. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> what's a metal monkey? It's, I don't know they what a built met... it, so okay. it was like that what was the, that was their comfort, right? So it was this metal monkey in their metal cage that would give them all the food that they needed, and then in another cage there was one that was all soft. It was just made out of um, rags, and it wasn't giving them the food they needed. But the monkeys that were in the cage with with the rag were so much. You know, they did so much better than the ones, like the, the ones over there died because they need softness. They need nurture. And there was something about the the rags of the metal monkey that made them feel 
comforted and the, loved. The, metal monkey, the rag monkey. The rag monkey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so even though they weren't getting the food that they needed, wow. they had the comfort and the, the security in that way. And so that's like, that's human nature, right? We need that level of belonging, of community, yeah. of feeling like we're part of something yeah. bigger than ourselves. Which is why, you know, church... Well, and yeah, religion is so powerful for people because it's yeah. the people. It's like feeling like you're a part of something with a common belief, a common goal, right? Yeah. And whichever religion you're in. Which is wild. During during the pandemic, they cut off people's like right to gather and get together as a community, which is like, mm -hmm. unless you wanted to go protest, you could do that. <laughs> there were so many things that boggled the mind. But what you said mm -hmm. about having something bigger than yourself to wake up for. Mm -hmm. We were in this very self-centered selfish time where everyone's like i'm gonna take care of myself i'm gonna take care of just me and in doing so you will develop some serious anxiety depression the more you focus on yourself mm -hmm. that the more challenging that you the more that of that depression and anxiety you get when you have something like when you have kids you have all this energy to wake up because you have to take care of them mm -hmm. and feed them and something much bigger than yourself to wake up for is your children yeah and a lot i'm sure there's a lot of parents on here who know exactly what i'm talking about you could have like had a really challenging night but in the morning those little faces you're getting up for them i mean and i have countless clients that have said to me if it wasn't for my children i don't know if i'd be alive you know yeah. when people go through the dark night of the soul and they they can't see a way out but then they have these little people that depend on them then that's that's really you know the thing that has them get up and keep moving through life um, and I think that's what's, you know, especially in this day and age, what, that's what's missing a lot more. People don't feel part of something, part of a community. Um, and so when we're not part of a community, that's when our health will start to, to decline more than anything else. You can live a perfect, clean lifestyle. You can exercise all the time. But if you don't have people that love you and care about you and show up for you, um, and connect with you, then then you're you're not going to have the type of longevity. So, right. um, so really, ha like cultivating and creating that and putting the time in for your community and yeah. is is the key is the key to longevity. The number one thing. So, so figuring out how you have that community should be one of your top priorities. Yeah, like. Who do I want to be around? What do I want to create in my life? And, you know, whether that's a gardening group or a hiking group or, you know, or a prayer group or, you know, a meditation group or a breathwork group or, you know, you, a pottery group, whatever it is that you're like, wow, this really makes me feel like I'm part of something that's what you need to focus your energy and attention yeah. on. We actually have that. We have yeah. in our in both of our programs, we have a really powerful community that has helped people stay connected to the conversation. And you want to be in a conversation that's actually pulling you forward mm -hmm. in your life rather than people listening for you how you were in the past or make, you know, you show up around the people that the people you spend time with, how they're some people, you know, when you're around a person and you feel really open and mm. really funny and really creative. And like it's almost like those people are expecting you to be that. So you're around them. You're just free and you're that. And you're playful. And what about how, how many of you have been around someone where you get there and none of your jokes land? You, don't, you're, you're, you feel you, stupid. You tongue-tie you like, all your uh, words. You, know. you just kind of like they make you feel... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they make you feel dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, it's so interesting. Like the, the people that you surround yourself will definitely the, determine the quality of your life. So the mm -hmm. quality of your community, who you surround yourself with, is probably one of the most important decisions you'll make. Like look around you at who you're spending all your time with mm -hmm. um, and make sure it's that's the direction you want to go with your life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many people in our community that we've cre cultivated over the years. Yeah. And especially during the pandemic, too, there were, when people were going through some of the toughest times, they couldn't 
they didn't have the same connection and communication with their family and friends that they did within this group because when you have a community that is all about sharing um, from a place of figuring out a solution, not from a place of being a victim, being able to share the really tough stuff and not having to hide it, you know, being being talking about your health and your goals and your life. Like how many people do you know, like, what are your dreams this year? What are you creating for yourself? Can I hold you accountable yeah. for that? Like, yeah. can I be your teammate and buddy in that? Yes. People just don't do and that. Are you listening yourself too small? Are yeah. you playing small? Or kicking your butt. Do you have a friend? that's like be like play bigger like get you know you're better than that stand stand on your power and do this you know so many people are like oh, okay okay everyone's all pc and nice it's like no be a stand be a stand for people to be their greatest selves that's right and that's what our community does so that's 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 i think one of the most vital things of our groups is is having this empowering beautiful community and so many of our people they now travel the world together they go and do fun things together when maybe they felt like their life was not gonna go that way at all now yeah. they're like stepped into adventure and yeah. passion and love in a whole new way and health of course yes mm. so that's right. we could talk about that's community not for i know that could be the whole thing but it is the biggest <laughs> it's the biggest lever to pull if you want to increase the health span and the length of your life mm -hmm. is find things you can get involved with whether it's a volleyball group or a pottery community something that that gives you a reason to show up mm -hmm. and be generous with you being there makes a difference for other people and and there's only one of you and you being at this club or this community or in, a, in with us and you showing up actually makes a different it's how people see themselves is through your eyes yes so it is please you being at home on your death scrolling facebook <laughs> is going to lead you down a dark path really quickly and and a you might get little comparison and jealousy and yeah. all and all these sorts of things and you'll so. get fake dopamine hits from little things that might and you'll get tricked into thinking you're living your life, but you're mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. Your life is lived when you're when you're out in the world, giving your gift, living your purpose, and really showing up for people so that they can see who they are through your eyes. It's a big one of the biggest gifts you can give. Yes. All right, number two. This is this is going to surprise you. Well, this might. Yeah, I think. No, this, number two. Yeah. Is stress. This is number two, like dealing with your finding dealing ways with your stress. to manage stress. Now, let me tell you about the three primary stresses, and there's a fourth little sneaky one that most people don't think about. Okay, so number one is our chemical environment. So that's uh, that's the food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe. The, you know, basically the what the TV we consume, the books we read, all of these sorts of things. But primarily it's the food, water, air, right? And so in this day and age, we are so much more toxic. Right? Like the food we have is filled with all this artificial stuff. You know, people are, you know, our grandparents, our great grandparents, none of them had to deal with what the toxic overload of what's in our food and in our water tables and things like that. Now, just the, the roundup that run off from everyone's lawns and from agriculture is all in our water and we're consuming it and our bodies aren't designed to deal with right. that level of toxicity. Right. So just your food and your water and then the air you breathe, especially if you are in a city, um, you're getting heavy metals that you're breathing in all the time, air pollution, all of these things. So, so it's not enough to just think that, oh, that's just life and if I eat a salad here and there, I'll be okay. No, I'm sorry to tell you that doesn't work. You have to detox and we're going to get into that later um, because of the toxic overload of what we are dealing with in this day and age right now. So yeah. that's the number one. That's that's one of the stresses, the right? And that's is... everyone's dealing with that. No matter who you are or where you are, everyone's dealing with that. That's right. Another stress people are dealing with is physical stress. So whether mm -hmm. you're in a car accident or you have some injury. Sporting injuries. Some, mm -hmm. some, even the way we sit sometimes. Like if you're hunched over, you're creating a physical kind of stress that mm -hmm. will feel emotional because just based on the way you're sitting. So physical stressors. Um, and finding ways to handle these and to to uh, reduce the effects of these stressors will give you uh, a much more longer quality of life. So that's mm -hmm. number two, physical mm -hmm. stress. What else? Car accidents. 
Yeah, um, that's we said it. Sporting industry in, yeah. injuries, just yeah. those sorts of things. Okay, so that's like you deal with, and it's something you need to deal with. People have them, and then they just keep going as if nothing happens. You have to deal with that. You have to so find ways to manage we, your these stresses. Yeah, and, and yeah. get your body back into alignment. So, we that's another thing we go deeper into but <laughs> for another day. All right, number three, which is the big one, I believe that's the one that's dealt with the least, is your emotional stress. Right, so death of a loved one, some kind of childhood trauma, jerk, jerky job, uh, boss at your job, that's yeah, like a coworker that's just on you constantly. That's creating emotional stress. And it could be as much as a teacher when you're young laughing at you or making you feel stupid. These things compound over time, and if you haven't dealt with them, which most people don't know how to deal with them. Um, they become your life and that stress that's why people put on weight when they it, I'm doing all the right things but I'm just keep putting on weight because they haven't dealt with their emotional stress right. and especially we're, like we're all gonna have things bad things happen like that's life that's right, right? so there you're gonna lose everyone you love whether you die or they die you're you're you know you're going to have breakups. You're going to have setbacks. All of these, no one's getting out of any of it alive, right? So being able, having tools to manage emotional stressors and to move them through your body and release them is just vital because those undealt with become diseased. Every single disease that everyone has ever heard of in their lifetime all comes from these core stresses. Now we have one extra, which is another new one that we deal with this day and age. Yes, and it's electromagnetic stress. So it's your cell phone stress, which could go under chemical, but it's it's your constantly being smashed with satellite signals, the Wi-Fi routers in your home. These actually really, really affect the electrical system is in your body. So a simple thing you can do is go barefoot outside and ground for a few minutes. If you're in freezing minus 30, you can buy a grounding mat for 29 bucks that you plug into the ground in the wall and you stand on it and it'll pull out some of the inflammation. And these, you know, the it's no doubt like the amount of, you know, back in the day there was maybe radio waves going uh, to, for people to hear radio and then TV waves and then all, then satellites and then and then there's all the all these invisible frequencies we our bodies are a vibration and we're so affected by different frequencies and like you'll mm -hmm. you know you'll meet someone who's a super positive per person they have a really high vibration of energy and you meet someone who is super Debbie Downer they have this denser energy and they're gonna they're everyone's pulling you in different directions well the things in your house that you're being smashed with constantly are affecting they're creating stress in your body mm -hmm. and they are they will affect the quality of how you age so they're important to know how to manage these and there's simple things you can do in your house which we go into depth in our program and give you guys a few things you can do in your house to, to mitigate the EMF the electromagnetic frequencies the impact of that yeah, yeah. and there's you know there are <clears throat> if you look throughout history every time we've had a technological advance in electromagnetic fields, right, which is, you know, all of these things we can't see. Oh, we turn on the TV, it works. We turn on the radio, it works. But we don't know how, right? So <clears throat> so whenever we've had a, an advancement, like we went from 4G to 5G and all these sorts of things, a huge uh, pandemic, per se, of sickness has come across the world. So it's something to look at, right? It means our, our bodies have to like recalibrate and organize themselves against this yeah. extra vibration against this new yeah. attack and our bodies do we we do you know we're extraordinary that way yeah. they will calibrate but you have to support sure. them as well as as they're calibrating yeah. and dealing with these extra stresses and the last you know 5g and, did get introduced just before the pandemic yeah, hit and so, so it's like you have to look at these things it may not like, have oh, caused it but no it no it's sure just, sure didn't help people it lowers lower the immune system lowers and, your immune system and it does give you makes you more vulnerable to certain you know bacterial loads or viruses um, so it's important to know how to to set your home up so it's like a cocoon of of the vibrations that you want that actually have your help your organs to regenerate 
help you to sleep at night. And there are some cost-effective ways to do it. You could just turn your Wi-Fi router off at night mm-hmm. so you're not smashing. And ask, you can give your neighbors a timer. And Go to your neighbors and say, here's a garden timer. Um, I, it's my gift to you for New Year's. Could you just turn off your Wi-Fi when you go to sleep and have it turn on when you wake up? And mm-hmm. that'll kind of like, that helps. And something really simple is always just sleeping with your phone, either not in the room or on airplane. Yeah. Like... You don't need to be contactable 24-7. You just don't. You know, I know we all have excuses and reasons as to why, but that's not how we all lived. Right. And you can shift it back to that. You need to have a, a moment in time where you can rest and your body can relax. And we're going to yeah. go into why that's important for longevity soon. Yeah, we got a lot to get through yeah, here, so, so, so I want to give ways more to th- mitigate Ways to yeah. mitigate stress. Very simple. Yeah. Moments of reflection and silence. A hundred percent important. People call it meditation. People yeah. call it silence. Some people it call does... it an Epsom salt bath. <laughs> and when you do that, you're getting magnesium, which actually closes the calcium gate in your cell and it also helps with the EMF smashing. So you could also take a magnesium. I work with a really amazing company that does this magnesium that has all seven. Bio optimizes. Um, I'll, I'll share. I'll amazing. share a link in wherever you're watching this. I'll share a link. It's also in my link tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to have some form of magnesium to help close those calcium gates. So you could take an Epsom salt bath or a really good quality magnesium helps. That's another thing can buffer you from the electromagnetic um, um, smashing your cells because <laughs> uh, it does. It just the the the, the frequencies jar your cells open mm-hmm. and they can't close. So what magnesium helps the cells function and close properly whereas all the, a lot of those frequencies keep your cells a little bit open yeah um, and so. then when they're permeable to, to you know disease and just zombie cells and it's a whole thing not right? so they, yeah. they're not doing what they need to do for you to be in optimal health so so moments of quiet and reflection and breath work right these are two free things Um, Yet people don't make them a priority, but we have to, you have to, have to, you know, if you think about uh, earlier times, the world was quieter, we didn't have phones going all the time, you know, people were in nature a lot more, working land a lot more, we were healthier in in a way, in that way, because we were connected to the land, I have to turn this up because it's making my hair funny. Um, I like her, I thought your hair was looking (laughs) smashing today. (laughs) It's like this is this birdie thing going. <laughs> I like um, it. So okay. we we have to yeah breath work, I like and sometimes breath work can be very triggering and you don't want to do it. But it's because it's just touching on emotions and bringing up things. It's also a wonderful weight for weight loss, right? So releasing weight, doing regular breath work is going to help with that because you're getting out uh, the toxins that well otherwise would sit in your body. So breath work and meditation are your key key ways of stresses and then the the next one of the next major ways of moving stress through is movement which is our next topic right yes we, movement is one of our so this is our third mm-hmm. we're trying we're trying how are we going to get through 10 of these i don't know we have, we <laughs> we're have, getting too excited <laughs> if you're just joining us this is the the elixir of youth and we're sharing our 10 favorite ways to mm-hmm. It really increased the quality of that last, you know, 10, 20, 30 years of your life so that it's actually enjoyable in some place you want to be. I mean, a lot of people are terrified of the end of their life that it's going to be pain, dementia. They're not going to know their name. They'll be poop in their bed. They're not going to have anybody coming to visit them. So what it's if I don't think there's anything more important than if no matter what age you are is doing the work now that you can do some prevention and some preparing for this age of your the end of your life so you're not frail mm. and you're not you're not breaking your hip and you're not losing your mind so you're you have you have cognitive strength and you have you have physical strength mm-hmm. um, but we'll get more into that too so moving I just I just want to someone just said sent this and I think it's stunning but silence is not the absence of something but the presence of everything that's a beautiful one that's by Gordon Hempton. I've never heard that before. Oh, love that. Love that. So true. Thanks, that, Rebecca. That's yes, beautiful. that is. It's like learning to be more present. That's what we need from silence. That's what we get from silence. So there's, a, right. there's so, a few really surprising studies about movement. So just some of the studies say just 11 minutes, so like 11 minutes a day can reduce your risk of dying by up to 22 to 30 percent. That's about 75 minutes a week of whatever it is. You could walk, you could get on a rebounder, you could ride a bike. That's 
just 11 minutes a day, you're you're reducing your risk of dying by up to 30%, as low as 22. What drug can say that that does that? Nothing. N- nothing. There's also... Nothing. Um, there's also this, the effect of doing physical activity on a regular basis is astonishing. You could say exercise is both, I'm trying to read it, prevention, I'm going to read it here, hold on. I wrote this down because it was really cool. Um, you ready for this? New, re- new research published this week found that even short periods of exercise, 20 to, 30, 20 to 25 minutes a day, can make a major dent in the risk of death for those who sit for long stretches of time. The effect of doing physical activity on a regular basis is astonishing. You could say exercise is both preventative and medicine, mm-hmm. like brushing your teeth for avoiding cavities, says uh, Edward Sagey, PhD. Uh, he's the author of this this study, and he's been studying this in Norway for like 50 years. So um, I wanted to share this. Some people like science, some people don't care. They <laughs> like the story. Um, and you know, the, um, the understanding... Many of you key is even re- get you pooping. Yes, key is totally about movement, and you know, sitting on the floor and getting up, and you know, the, everyone thinks, oh, I gotta do all this crazy training. No, you just have to do, you know, gardening, like lifting heavier things around the house, and moving, like sitting on the floor and getting up, it's like keeping everything working as it's designed is is the key you know when you look at there's a there's a show at the moment called blue zones um on netflix and it goes over a a bunch of where people are living over a hundred like a lot a big density of people living over a hundred and it's what they do and so much you know community is huge in there but but moving like using our bodies as they're designed so many people go oh too old to do that and then they just stop and it's like or like, this hurts, so I'm going to stop using it. I'm just going to try and use it less. And it's like, no, you need to get to the root cause of what's causing that pain or inflammation. And then work, like, PT it, work through it so that you use it more until it's feeling good again. You know, keep keep all your joints oiled up and lubed up by yeah. using them. You yeah. don't stop because you're suddenly feeling old. Right. Like, no, let's right. go younger, right? Yeah. So, um, so mo- yeah, movement is just crucial. And and the simplest walking is like yeah. your key yes. to longevity. Again, free, yeah. free, free, free. And it'll, it'll actually create... Uh, inspiration and momentum so you don't you can't wait to be inspired you go out and take some baby steps and some action and then you will be inspired Mm -hmm. so inspiration comes actually after you take action you can't if you sit around and wait it's not going to come you got to go take some action inspiration will grow and your momentum will grow and your confidence will grow Mm -hmm. you'll start to enjoy being you because you're moving and you're it sounds like a dr seuss it sounds like a dr seuss you're you you're out there you're in the world (laughs) (laughs) move it i'll lose it basically is it anyone that no longer can move or no longer can walk wished wish that they can so don't abuse the fact that we have these amazing bodies that can move around like use it yep or you will lose it. That's right. Um, the next one is grip strength. Well, it's 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 muscle. It's building muscle. Like mm-hmm. muscle is the organ of longevity. It really is. Mm-hmm. And not a lot of people don't know muscle is an organ. Mm-hmm. And why why muscle is the organ of longevity is if you are strong enough when you fall to catch yourself, you're not going to hurt yourself. And grip strength there is. And just on that, before you go there, the, one of the biggest causes of death is falling yeah. and breaking something and then people just don't recover when they're older right they don't get back up so i mean they get it back up yeah but, but they, they just don't recover in the same way so if you're able to catch yourself or grip onto something to hold yourself that's gonna keep you younger longer so yeah. and then so many people th- you know there's all these studies like you know, after 30 like murder is really hard and it's like okay maybe Maybe it is, but like if you just know what to do, there's there's ways in which to build muscle at any any age. Doesn't matter if you're starting at seventy, you can build muscle. That's right. And there is ways in which to do that. We go in depth in this in in our program because the, the the biggest thing is longevity. One of our big core topics is longevity, and so we do a whole heap of 
detoxes and then and building all your muscles. So, so that's right. Understanding how to build muscle, what the there's, there's a science to it, and then how to get there. It's not just like oh lift weights or do this. There's no, a, an and there's, actual there's a way to make sure you're providing enough amino acids, enough proteins for that your muscle can actually have protein synthesis, and your you can build muscle. Uh, and as you get older, um, build, muscle is one of the most powerful currencies you can have. It's a little harder as you get older to build muscle. But if you do know the right things to take, which is a lot more protein and also some, some amino acids, um, and knowing which ones to do and how to move. But like you, it's so important. If you want to if you want to improve the quality of your life, build some muscle. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. there's a billion you could we could we could show you some really cool ways to do it. But if you're if you're lazy, just look on YouTube is like whatever <laughs> age you're like, I'm 50. Like, how does a 50 year old stay shape? I'm 60. How does a 60 year old uh, lift weights like build muscle safely? And it's an important thing to learn how to do it right. Don't just go and start lifting weights at the gym. Like you should probably get a trainer mm-hmm. and you should probably learn how to do it with the right form and make sure your skeletal system is actually supporting you when, if you lift heavier. So Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, choose things that are going to make you stronger. And no. so gardening and like... You know, it's so easy to be like, oh, I can't open the can. I do that sometimes. It's like you're pretty strong. I though. am. I am very strong. But you know, it's easy to be like, oh, someone else can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle it out a little bit. You know, like take things on um, that is that challenge. And you know, even just getting those little uh, gripper things where you Hand can, grippers. where yep. you're like doing that, those exercises, they do great things. So if you're yeah. feeling like, oh, it's a little weak. Just pick up some of those. They're yeah. very cheap. And then just while you're sitting watching, you know, if you're watching interesting, amazing documentaries, not just Netflix, uh, then sit there doing that. All right. Let's continue on. Um, sleep. We're not going to go deep into this. Is this is number five. Number this is five. Number five. We, we always, we harp on sleep a lot because you can, yeah. your sleep is, is, is a magic drug. It's like exercise. If you get a good night's sleep, you feel like you just took a you million dollar pill. You release weight. You your body regenerates. Your cells regenerate. It's just, organs. Everything you know, regenerates when you sleep, you and your personality look, gets better. Yes, yes. So sleep <laughs> is connected to everything. But we've gone over this in so many of our other um, our wellness summits that we're not going to harp on this one. But you know, getting eight hours, seven. Seven to nine hours, apparently, is it. And getting sleep between the, the 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. mark, is that's where our body regenerates the most. And then calming everything down when the sun goes down, you know. And I, depending on where you are, your bodies will be in a circadian. Because so I know some places don't get dark until 11 p.m. in the middle of summer, right? So just being in flow with what's going on in your environment is fine. So it doesn't have to be seven in those places. Or you know, and when it when it's when it's colder and darker, and it gets dark earlier, then this calm it down earlier. Like just go with the seasons. That's right. And getting sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning will help get your rhythms proper. So get mm-hmm. outside, go for a walk, get some mm-hmm. get some breath work and some yummy sun in your eyes before you, uh, and that'll start to reset you uh, your hormones properly for getting a good night's sleep. We won't go deep. We could no. go deep on sleep. Oh, let's go deep on sleep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so number six is detoxing. And so huge, 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 for, huge. for living long, like because, you know, if you are able to get some of these toxins out of your bone marrow, out of your mm. blood, out of your body, then your chances of some disease, dis-ease or some neurological disorder like dementia or MS or even cancer or ALS like my dad had uh, then you, you're going to dramatically reduce your chance of having some weird surprise thing happen later mm-hmm. in your life. And these these toxins hide in our bodies. Our bodies are amazing. They hide in bone marrow. They hide in fat. And, and they hide, So, you know, especially with emotional stress if uh, or and the chemical stress, you know, or even all, all three of them, right? If you don't deal with them, they yeah. will come out in some way. You know, my, my own father, um, he died of asbestos poisoning of the lungs. You know, he had um, uh, a job in which they, you know, his, his company, they lined things with asbestos. And so 
he was totally fine until he had a big emotional stressor happen in his life and he got sick quick after well that wasn't meant to be an up thing (laughs) he got sick really quick after that and it was just like that was all sitting in his body waiting and all it needed was the trigger that was my dad too my dad had a trigger yeah he he was lifting something far heavier than he should have been lifting got a back injury and that released all the the toxins toxins into his body so it's like these things hide out in our body um, and our body does a really good job of trying to like keep them contained. Body's amazing. That's why sometimes people are putting on a lot of weight and can't figure out that your body's containing something that shouldn't be in there, right? And so when you create detox pathways and pull all these things out, you can then have these big stressors that happen, but it doesn't release all of the toxins and flood your system all at once. That's why you people suddenly get these really scary things like cancer, MS, neurological disease, early onset dementia, all or, or just regular dementia. They get them because there's a toxic overload in their body yeah. that they haven't dealt with. And then one, there's like the straw that broke the camel's back. That's one right. thing happens and then boom, yeah. it's filled their body. Yeah. You know, so... That's why we go on and on about detoxes. That's why in our big program we have two major detoxes in a year because we're pulling everything out of your body so that you do not have to get those diagnoses. You're reversing time. You're getting things out yeah. and you're helping your body sure. uh, do this so that you don't have to deal with these big scary things in your future. Yeah, and you can you know you can also. Uh, learn how to eat in a way that you're eating foods that are cleansing you and not clogging you so in our in our year-long program we have a quite a focus on a lot of vegetables we're definitely allow like people can eat whatever their body requires them to eat but there's a having a vegetable forward which is another key to longevity is having um almost all of the blue zones have a vegetable forward diet like they're mm-hmm. not they're long they're, they eat meat as well so it's mo- not about that it's there just, are some vegetarian ones but yeah. they definitely have a focus on getting high nutrition food in and that's and learning of the fiber right so you're fiber pooping will, well and you're doing all the things the that fiber you will help be. pull the toxins yeah. out mm-hmm. and and just learning how to eat in a way that's cleansing you mm-hmm. rather than clogging you so you're detoxing all the time and you're binding things all the time in certain smart ways. But then every change of season, you should be doing, you could be doing, I'll say, um, some form of detox. And you can choose something for yourself. You could choose something simple. You could choose something more complicated. But every change of season is a great time mm-hmm. to, to focus on, say, an organ. And like, how do I support my liver? How do I support my my bowel? How do I support my support my spleen? Or what what do I what can I do for my heart? And and like, it's a really it's a really your body. It's a really beautiful thing and we teach this and we help people get a tenderness and a bit of a communication and a, they turn up the volume of that inner guidance the system. intuition with so their body. So their intuition, they, they start to know mm-hmm. what foods are going to poison them and what foods are going to like give them power. And that's when, when your body starts, we teach this, that when your body starts giving you an indication like pain or inflammation or there's things you know so many people are taught to oh just pop a pill and make it go away right pain meds uh but your body's telling you something and this is when you tune in and listen and give it what it needs so many people pop a headache tablet uh pain med when when really they're chronically dehydrated and all it would take is to drink a ton of water and then their body would no longer but you pop a pill and it takes away the symptoms and you're like i'm fine but you're not fine you haven't dealt with the core issue so something that's so important is really learning that inner guidance system of your body is telling you something and how to how to move through that. And the other thing that we do, we've teamed up with um, one of the number one functional medicine teams in America right now um, to get your blood, your bio, 108 biomarkers of your blood work. Because sometimes there's things happening behind the scenes that you're just not present to until suddenly you are. I want to give you an example of that is... Um, I had really elevated blood work at one point and I had my functional medicine doctor was telling me I had probably had all these things um, that had, uh, you know, from exposure when I was a child or whatever that, that, you know, that could create um, 
you know, chronic fatigue syndrome and all these things. They're like, you must have a very strong mind because this is what should be happening to you. And I was like, no, I don't buy that. But what happened was I we flew across to Italy and I got really uh, terrible pain. I thought, oh, I must have been grinding or, you know, holding like stress in my jaw while I was sleeping. And then what it was, was it, I had an abscess in my tooth. Right, and when we there's when we have an abscess, we often don't know. So my blood work was totally elevated, and really high because my body was fighting a huge infection in my face. But it was you couldn't find it, you couldn't see it, right? right? And so when so had that been COVID, and I were flew during that time, and you know here's this really aggressive virus coming at me when my body was already depleted uh, of 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 my little super cells that were fighting it because they'd been fighting this huge infection in my face. I, you know, I could have been one of those people where they're like, they were perfectly healthy and they just died. And I was like, no, because your body is dealing with an overload of, you know, all the little fighting immune system is it is exhausted. It's like a war that's been waging for years. Right. Everyone's exhausted. You know, they don't have the like, yeah, we're going to fight, we're going to win. Like everyone's like, how long is this going for? We're tired, we're depleted, we don't have it anymore, right? And so that's what your immune system does. And it can be something that you're just not aware of. And that's why when you get the 108 biomarkers of blood, you can become present to something that's in the background that you don't know about that can yeah. create really major issues for that's you right. moving forward if you don't get present. And most people... People don't get present to really what's going on in their body until they come against something really scary. And that's when they're like, oh, now I'll change. And it's like, well, it's already a little like, you. yes, you can. But sometimes it's too late, especially if you have suddenly have stage four cancer or something, some, you know, to suddenly start doing all of these things then is a, is a problem. So really understanding what uh, is going on in the whole your whole system of your body and how to navigate those from a place of prevention and re yeah. reversing it rather than reacting to the that's big right. disease that's where you want to be that's yeah. how you live a really powerful beautiful life it's knowledge it's understanding your bio individual needs what's going on with your body right now not when you're sick and you get blood tests uh, when you know in the did you say that when I was gone by yeah, yeah yeah yes that's what I just oh, talked did? about okay, yeah great yeah, yeah, yeah. so you get some mm -hmm. actually understanding what's happening in your body so that you can adjust it from mm -hmm. a place of wellness not mm -hmm. sickness did you say that yes yes okay let's move on <laughs> let's move on the next one here is sugar, sugar. Uh, and 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 what sugar can create in your body and we don't have to spend a lot of time here because we you all know and we, we've, we've spoken about it in our other wellness. Just summit. how uh, what a, how incredible your body reacts to sugar. It can age your skin. It'll age your organs. It'll make you feel like a dumpster dive. I mean, how many of you over Christmas or New Year's... Felt tired and lethargic yeah, all the and time. And just like, it actually affects the way you think. When Like, it is, it is a serious toxin and a serious poison. So eliminating... Mm -hmm. the highly processed white cane sugar that's just about in everything and so we train and people. high corn fructose syrup like any syrup of any sort just get rid of it yeah maple syrup is okay um but yeah. like any so, of the you know vanilla syrups and this yeah syrups, yeah, yeah. Like you go to starbucks just... and have 600 calories oh. in a few pumps so oh. we your it the big thing is understanding your insulin and how it affects your blood sugar in mm -hmm. relationship to to longevity and having a, a really good quality and a health span is if you can find ways to have natural sugars which are in fruits or in vegetables um, and completely cut out the processed crap the quality of your thoughts like the quality of your energy your mm -hmm. life your mm -hmm. sex life your sleep everything is going to improve dramatically so it's a really big Mm -hmm. lever to pull in longevity and you don't you all know sugar especially processed sugar and, and, and what it how, what it'll do to you yeah and it's in everything so you have to guard your body like the temple it's that in it your is bread. It's, it's like the fifth the ingredient milk, in the, most it's, breads. it's everything yeah. it's in everything so so you really have to look at it not just like oh i don't put sugar in my tea anymore it's like no you actually have to look at it from every single it's thing sneaky. that you it consume. hides in everything mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So. All right. We're going to, we're, we're wrapping this up. Yes. We're, at the, we're almost at Number eight. Late. This is a good one. 
fun and play. Yes. <laughs> so being insignificant about the things in life. So, you know, having, bringing a sense of playfulness to the circumstances and not being a victim to your circumstance, right? Totally. So no like, matter what happens, you don't have to be a complainer or a whiner. You can actually, you can make a choice to mm-hmm. have a little bit of playfulness when things happen because yeah, things are going to happen. They are. Like last night, we were flying back from um, or- Orlando. We were over there shooting uh, a TV series about the, our company. Um, so we we were we were just about to board the plane right on time and boom they close it down they're like tornado coming right and so it goes back now we have a small child and so some people would be really overwhelmed and stressed about that because everything's going to be thrown out but we're like okay let's just go with it and then it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed so it, it we actually when we got home it was actually 6 30 a.m of the time zone that we were we came from right so we just yeah. missed an entire night of sleep pretty much you know and um and we, we have a child and then he you know wide awake had 3 a.m. in the morning, and it's like, it's a whole thing. But instead of being dramatic and being totally thrown out by it, and then, or surprised, or, and then like, screaming or at people, that, that, that you know, this just is what it is, right? We we went, um, we were running around the airport. We were like, because we don't do screens or anything like that with our child. So, so instead we were creating adventures. We were running around the Christmas tree, and we were doing all these things, and I could just see... The, like us interacting with our son in that way just lit everyone up around us. People got off their devices to look and watch and see the joy that was happening. And like they started chatting and connecting because it was like people don't do things like that anymore. You know, I always see at airports everyone and their children like this on screens. And I was like, so really, how much of life are we missing? How much connection with our children are we missing? Because we we're like, logging out on a device you know when, when instead we could be creating a memory it's, it's it's can be take a bit more energy and effort for sure but it's so worth it it's so worth it to have these quirky memories and these these can, moments of connection when instead of just sitting on a device you know so yeah, yeah. get up and connect and like be playful in the face of yeah. adversity. And, you know, like, I guarantee you there's folks in Kiev or like in Ukraine that they're in, you know, they're in a big time war. And there's they their cities have been completely a lot of them really destroyed. And I guarantee you there are large swaths of people that have chosen to be like, I'm just going to find a way to enjoy. I'm going to bake my bread. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to paint my paintings. I'm going to interact with my family. I'm going to seize the day and the moment uh, rather than wish things were different. Mm -hmm. And that's suffering. Like Mm -hmm. things are how they are. Mm -hmm. And then if you if you only want them different, you're going to create a lot of suffering Mm -hmm. and a lot of 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 friction in your body rather than just being like, all right, this is what's happening. I'm going to choose it. Mm -hmm. And in choosing it, you actually get all your power back. Mm hmm. But if you want it, trying to fix it or change it or just get through it and be like, oh, I can't wait till this is over. You are you're a victim mindset and and you have zero power. Mm. Yeah. And you're wanting to blame like a flight hostess, you know, wanting to blame everyone else for your issues. Don't do that. It doesn't help anything. Right. It doesn't create right. any joy or love or connection or fun for anyone. And everyone's just like, stay away from them. So just how can you find the light on the play in a situation, any situation that's not great, right? And that is the only thing you can control in this life. You might think you can control all sorts of things. You, you, It's an illusion. Yeah. All you can control is how you react to whatever situation is put in front of you. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right. You could go on forever I know, about I know. that one. I love, I, know. I love that one really lights me up. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's, that one lights me up. Yeah. For sure. Okay. All right. But number nine, visualization. So creating a vision of how you're going to age. Like I remember at a Tony Robbins event um, mm-hmm. where he had you imagine a bodybuilder or sorry, an old person on stage in their 90s and, and imagine had everyone, 5,000 people close their eyes. 
And when we opened our eyes, there was a person in like a Speedo and he was in his, I think, late 80s, a man, was just a bodybuilder, like lots of muscle, tanned, in great shape. And then and he was like, how many of you imagine that guy? And everyone, a lot of you have an image of what it's going to, what how you're going to age and what you're going to, and you will become that image. So do, so be careful. Don't see yourself in an old folks home on a, or, or watching freaking TV. Like, don't do that. Like, what what image of yourself do you want to create? I think people should be obsessed with that last part of their life. And I, Peter Thiel has this really great video that I've watched many times, and he talks about that where he feels people should be obsessed with is that that 10 years, that last 10 years, the like the marginal phase, that decade, that that decade and uh, that a lot of people and making sure that in that marginal decade that you're not frail, not frail, mm-hmm. not frail cognitively or physically. Mm-hmm. And like as how many of you would I'd, I'd rather die swimming in an ocean at 90. And he talks about this of a heart attack than 120 with not knowing who I am and some old machines folks home, machines, nobody and visiting and like, me. Like, yeah. like, so what, and souls. so <laughs> vision, like really creating, making sure now mm. that you're not going to be how like really, really frail in that last 10 uh, years of your life or that marginal decade. That very many people just like give me medications to get out of pain so I can get through the day. That ain't going to do it y'all like that. Mm-mm. That'll get you, into an island of 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 a really brutal brutal uh, last little window of your aging of your life, and then you'll be taking all the other medications to deal with all the side yeah. effects. There's, there's no there's no freedom in that. It might feel like a quick fix, but there ain't no freedom. So that's why so many of the people that work with us end up getting off of all of their medications because our bodies know what to do. We have to just set it up in a really powerful right yeah. way. You have to do it safely too. So that's that's something that like all of our people do and, and feel more life and more energy and vitality than they've ever felt in their life. Actually, we have a thing called 40 Days for You and visualization was uh, today. The, the, today. So if, um, that's another thing that we offer is uh, 40 days of uh, an action you can take uh, to really enhance your life and that's in a some free way. Program. And it's a free program. It's on um, our uh, Instagram social media uh, that you can follow each day and really take on. And you can also sign up and get emails, like a daily email, so that you can track it for yourself. That's right. There's um, also life enhancers. And there's there. life enhancers. So, for, <laughs> so if you're like, how do I keep it, keep up with all of this? You know, or like keep it in my memory. Um, if you join our Life Enhancers with Kate and Paul, we send it out every Saturday morning. Um, and it's like a little tip, a little something to really uh, take action and enhance your life in some way, or some knowledge, or the really awesome, yeah. cool, juicy, yummy things. Right? Juicy and yummy. And so the 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 step by step of the nine steps are in those Life Enhancers. So pop onto our website and yeah. sign up for that, and uh, it's, you'll just get a little Life Enhancer every Saturday. To keep your life being awesome. Um, all right. Um, Finally, drum roll, please. So that's visualizing and the vision that you, how, whatever you see for yourself, you're going to create that. So be really specific mm-hmm. about the vision that mm-hmm. you're seeing yourself as mm-hmm. you age. Mm-hmm. So important. Um, and I, I also follow a lot of people uh, that have that you know, have transformed themselves later, much later in life. And they're like full muscly and they're doing bodybuilding competitions and they look extraordinary and exquisite when they were maybe, you know, frumpy and just never, big never had health as a part of their goal. Um, so it's really important to follow people that have done it so you can see yeah. what's, what's possible for you as yeah. well. Um, and inspiring. Um, number 10, Discover your passion and live your purpose every day. You know, so many people just get through life. They do work and they live to retire. And, and they then, think nah, that's nah, who they are is the doing work. Yeah. That's not like yeah. like it, you you having a strong why to live. Like actually a lot of people live like work just so that they can live. And that's that's there's not it shouldn't be a light work life balance. Mm-mm. Like you should be living your life with passion and purpose and find a way mm-hmm. to make a living from that, that that is from that if you truly want to be happy if you're just going to be like no i'm going to put in my 40 years and then i'm going to retire 
And at that little bit there, then I'm going to like travel and you get to margaritas on the beach is boring after day five. <laughs> like you, you there and there, you, there is a, there is a, it's, and some of you might be like oh, easy to you say you're an a- easy for you to say you're an actor or I'm doing this and now as a coach as well, or I'm a singer. I found a way to do three things that I really, really enjoy and and have a business built around all three of them Mm -hmm. and it's like whatever your whatever lights you up you want to wake up in the morning and do that you don't want to some live a someday life Mm -hmm. uh with no passion no purpose because what how you do one thing is how you do everything that you'll you'll have the same blueprint of how you do your job you'll bring it into your relationship you'll Mm -hmm. raise your kids that way Mm -hmm. and it's like there's a lot at stake and i know it's i'm gonna get like some people in the comments are going to be like, yeah, easy to eat for you to say you have la la la. But I created this, you guys, 30 mm-hmm. years ago. And, it, you know, I've worked at McDonald's. I've worked at Arby's. I've worked at 27 restaurants. And, you know, I made the best of it. And I love serving people and being with people. But then I really wanted to do what I wanted to do and really enjoy it. So I wasn't living a life as a means to an end. Mm-hmm. And something I love about you is uh, Paul enjoys every moment. You know, like there was a beautiful example yesterday. We, we, were, we, we were trying to squeeze in this. It was a little zoo on our way to the airport, right? And we, had, and we left not enough time really. And so I'm one of those people, I'm like trying to zip through so we can see all the animals. Like, like oh, come on, come on, come on. And Paul's just like, do, do, do. And then he even stopped at one point and started stretching when we were like really on the clock to see it. And I'm like, what are you doing? But he just like, like our whole, like that's the comedy of our relationship is I'm always like in the future and go, 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 go. And like, and he's just in the moment yeah. smelling the roses. Right. And so I'm always like rushing 10 steps ahead of him. And he's like, what are you doing up there? That's true. But you're, <laughs> what you're, you're expanding the, the future for yeah. us. And I'm expanding the moment. The moment. And I think it yeah. works. I bring you to the moment. You bring me to the future. And yeah. sometimes we resist each other. <laughs> and other times it's just like a slip and slide. Uh, it's, but it's, a, it's a mix. It's just that it's so beautiful to be in the present. Yeah. You know, and to, and to really enjoy, like, make an enjoyment out of every, like, Paul doesn't just get food and just shove it in and go. He he makes it, you know, special. He there's nothing that he does that's not done with some reverence. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the world and just go 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 and you think, "Oh, at some point, uh, when I get to this point, then I'll do that. Then I'll do this." And you know, we don't know how much time we have on this world. And, you know, and most people's regrets are the things that they didn't take time for, they didn't do, yeah. they didn't connect. Yeah. So really, like, and in this day and age with the internet, you can have the most obscure passion, obscure love, and you can make money from it. You can, you know? and there's a lot, there's many people out there that have already done it. So you mm-hmm. can look up how they did it and model them and reach out to them. And, and like, there's, there's no excuse now to just like to work a job you freaking hate Mm-mm. just so that you can have a little fun on the you know Saturday and blog out on a and TV. And that's why and you need to like numb out with drugs, alcohol, um, you know, TV because you're just not enjoying your life. It's yeah. not like it's not inspiring for you. So you need like you need to disrupt yeah. that yeah. and start taking time, even yeah. 15 minutes a day. We call it the one percent rule. Of, of doing something that lights you up, mm. that inspires you, that makes you feel good. Yes. You deserve to feel good. Yes. So yes. really like figure out your passion and your purpose that's and right. follow it. That's right. Follow it and see where it, you end up with that because that's going to like it's going to make your days filled with much more joy and lightness and love rather than the heaviness of just I have to do this you know there's plenty of stuff in life we have to do but how you do those things like you know if you've got some levity with with balancing with things you love then those have to do's don't become so hard uh, that's true and we get so caught up in the, the 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 do's and like the in the hows rather than the why. So if you, in a part of finding your living and discovering and creating your your purpose and your passion is getting a strong why as to why you're doing something. And if you're just going to work as a why to like then 
eat, like maybe there's a way that you could like shift that to do mm-hmm. something to sh- change your why. And we get, we're like, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? It's like, no, no, no. Why are you going to do that? Mm-hmm. And the why is like this big engine that Oof. powers life. It's everything. And the hows are like little to-do lists. And you just yeah. like, how, let me do, let me do, do, do. And it's like, no, you get to be mm-hmm. and you get to understand your why and operate from that foundation. Then you're, then you're actually living a life mm-hmm. rather than just being a little factory, like a to do, to do, to do, I'm going to do this and thinking that's who you are. It's not who you are. No. So, 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 you know, it's, it's easy to talk about these things for us cause we live them. But if these are, if, if you're like, ah, oh, I kind of know some of these things, but I just never do it. I never, I, I never it? like stand by my New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Like I've already fallen off the track. I do this. I do that. You know, you know, we all need support. We need help. We need you know, us personally. We need coaches. We coaches so too. like our lives go much bigger when we have coaches. We need reflection. So if you are someone that you're like, I want to make 2024 just so freaking exquisite and exciting and adventurous and squeeze everything out of everything and I want to get fit and healthy and and fitter and thinner and all the things right if you want (laughs) to if you've thought for any reason that you're too old or it's too far or you can't do it you're wrong there's never a better time to start than right now and if you need the extra support we have two programs one is like kind of a bit more chill and it's more about community the other one is very intensive you want to fast track your life and you want to reverse age or reverse disease in a really in in one year um then that's the one um so get in contact with us uh take action today click on the link um should be it's popping up around if you're live otherwise uh, click on the link below to really get in contact with us to say how what's the best way for me to just navigate yeah. this and to step yeah. into my life really powerfully and yeah. just to own everything how do i how do i become you know 20 years younger it's possible it is possible so it's like it is just what you do right now in this moment when you're feeling inspired that makes all the difference so don't walk run yeah. i get in contact this is what we do we have a thirst and a passion for doing this for people that's That's what we do and so and we created this beautiful program that has all the bells and whistles that um so that you can have all of this in a short year of your life and this is week seven so we've been sharing with you just a little bit of a window into what we take people through on our year-long journey we we do a deep dive into these and it's you know, it's you a lot. A big part of there's so much conflicting information out there, and to have somebody who helps you organize it and takes you through it, in in an actual strategic way, and then you get the blueprint. So you spend a year with us. Our promise is ten to twenty years of health span back at the end of your life, and there's we do weekly coaching live, mm-hmm. as well as two blood tests, and you get in touch with our medical uh, functional medicine doctor teams, as well as. Um, two detoxes two big detoxes at different times in the year and so if you're watching this later on a replay there will be a link down below to hop there will be a free gift we want to send you but if you if this is speaking to you just get on a call um, with one of our teams or with one of us for now we're still doing the calls and we can see if this is a good fit and Mm -hmm. we can help you get to where you want to get to in this conversation because a lot of people are just living life from like as a as a living their life on a bit of a groundhog's loop mm-hmm. and they're in the passenger seat of the life and and if you're watching this and you want to get in the driver's seat and actually start living this life that you love and by your design rather than what what everybody else thinks you should be doing mm-hmm. then get in touch with hop there'll be a link right there and we can check and see if this is a good fit Mm -hmm. um, and get you to this life, live a life that you truly love. Yes. Yes. And and Paul is a functional nutrition coach. I uh, am a strategic intervention coach with my master's in neuro-linguistic programming. So we, and we've been doing this for the past half decade. So we have tons of experience on so many unique uh, issues that people are dealing with and it all stems from those three stresses so we just have to uh, uh, isolate which which ones 
that you are dealing with and what level of toxic overload you're dealing with yep. in those and that's and then and then go from there so and you kate also has her nlp masters in nlp and she's a tony robbins coach I said that. yeah but the, <laughs> what makes that so like special is the emotional side to this mm -hmm. there's there is your thoughts beliefs and emotions that affects the, the biochemical side and they actually really bounce back and forth so you could be you you, you you definitely need all of your these pillars working and functioning together mm -hmm. and having the relationship side so there's three parts to our program is is the physical stuff which I deal with mm -hmm. uh, Kate does a lot of the, mental, the mental fitness and I do the physical fitness and then we have a relationship fitness so like how connection to self and others which is That's the community the part yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we'd love to meet you and if no matter some of you are going to be watching this five years after we've made it so it's not too late mm -hmm. kate and i this is a bit of our life mission now mm -hmm. like we have we have the testimonials and the 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 excitement of of watching people get their lives back mm -hmm. and create a life they actually want to live has Career, been new careers it's new relationships it keeps me wanting to do you know this. like totally you know releasing an entire person maybe you know a bunch of our people have lost over 120 pounds did they lose it they released it sorry good catch we we only say release because if you lose something you find it yeah. so there's there's you know go onto our testimonial page take a look there at like all the things that our people have you know overcome and and are thriving now and we would love to help you as well so uh get involved yeah make a choice like uh, you know and there's a really uh cheap and easy program and a much more intensive program so you have choices um but just get into this community it's it's, it's gonna it'll save your life yeah. really well all right okay mm -hmm. we love that's you. the end of our power to change Wellness seven, Summit. Seven week wellness summit. We hope you've enjoyed it. Can you you do us a big favor and subscribe to whatever channel you're watching? Yeah, and our YouTube share, channel. Share it. Share this message with somebody who might uh, benefit from it and take action. This isn't a video game or a movie. Take action on the things that we shared with you um, or reach out to us if you need some support. We'd love to be there for you. Yeah. Okay. See right. you later. Bye, big everybody. Love. Bye. Bye.